Yo, what is up everybody? We are here at KLIA 2. We are now heading off to Singapore, baby. We've been wandering around this airport for probably about 20 minutes just trying to figure out where to go. This airport is huge, guys. It is enormous. We just got through security in like five minutes. This has to be the fastest time that we've ever walked through an airport and got through security in like no time, especially on an international flight. I think what blew me away the most is they don't even make you take your shoes off or you take out the stuff out of your pockets and put it on the little machine. Nothing. <laughs> but you know what? It's all good. It makes our lives a little bit easier. So we're going to go ahead over to the gate now. Uh, we got stuck at another security checkpoint. They tricked us. It was too easy the first time. <laughs> okay, it wasn't so bad after all. I was actually pretty quick and painless. Honestly, what I really like is they don't make you take your shoes off because when you're wearing Converse like I do, oh, it's such a pain in the butt to have to take them on and off. All right, so now we're going to go find out where our gate is because you know what? We still don't know where it's at, but we'll find it. Finally found our gate, so we're sitting here waiting, so we might as well get a little bit of time and find out. Evelyn, where is it that you want to go the most when we go to Singapore? In realidad, I want to know todo el país en sí porque me han hablado muy bien, pero hay un lugar específicamente que quiero visitar, que es Garden by the Bay. Es un jardín botánico, algo así. Me gustaría mucho conocer. También vamos a intentar ir a Universal y sé, otro lugar que es como un río, que hay botes y eso, no me acuerdo el, el nombre específicamente. También una calle que está toda iluminada de Navidad. Yeah, when we were looking it up, honestly, that thing looks like something straight out of Avatar. So we're really excited to go check that place out. And of course, all the other destinations as well. Of course, Evelyn gets stopped at the gate with her Panamanian passport. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the airplane now and we're about to take off and somehow I either lost my headphones or Evelyn stole my headphones because we both have the same pair of headphones and we fight over which one's which all the time and there's like one little difference that mine has like the stupid little hair had like a fiber or something that's coming off of them and Look at, her, look at her laughing. She's she's laughing because apparently I think I lost my headphones or something on the way to the airport when I was passing through the security checkpoint. And this one over here suspiciously has the same looking headphones. So now I got into buying another pair of headphones and now we don't even know if for sure she left her headphones there and took mine on accident. I don't know, there's a complete mix up, but whatever. I'll just end up buying a new pair anyway. Ugh, I just hope that there's no crying kids on the airplane. over there in Singapore. All right guys, we made it to Singapore in one piece, except for my headphones. As soon as we got off the airplane, we were trying to figure out how to connect ourselves to the Wi-Fi, and actually, there's a weird way to do it. You actually have to register your passport with a little kiosk right when you get off the airplane, and you gotta get them to give you another password. I don't know, it's kind of weird to be honest, but hey, whatever works. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go explore the airport a little bit, because from what I was reading online is that this is one of the number one airports in the world. In fact, I think it was even voted number one. I'm not even sure, but from what I hear, it's supposed to be really amazing, and we wanna go see what they have to offer. Another thing that we wanna check out is this Harry Potter exhibition that they supposedly have here until February. I don't know why they have it here to be honest, maybe because it's a Universal Studios picture and they have this whole thing with Universal Studios here in Singapore, so maybe that's it. But either way, we wanna go ahead and explore it and go check it out because from what I hear, it's supposed to be really cool. They're supposed to have all these different displays and areas that you can walk around like as if you're in the Harry Potter world. Is Evelyn getting all our tourist maps? <laughs> so now that Evelyn's killed a bunch of trees by getting all these silly things that she'll probably not even look at, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find that Harry Potter world after we go ahead and go through the security. See how long it takes for Evelyn's passport to get through customs this time. I don't know what that is, but that thing is really cool looking thing. It's just floating. Magic. Harry Potter. Eventually. <laughs> Somebody got yelled at by the security guys here at the passport department because she was recording a video of the same thing that I was recording a video of. <laughs> so far, experience has been pretty good, minus a little incident with Evelyn, but you know what? No big deal. That was kind of our fault anyway. We're going to go ahead and start exploring the airport a little bit. We want to see what makes this airport number one or one of the top airports in the world. So let's go see. Man, even their baggage department's really nice. Look at this. It looks like something straight out of Jurassic Park. 
quick change of plans. We actually decided we're gonna do the Harry Potter thing when we're leaving Singapore because right now, since we don't exactly know where it is, we don't wanna spend our whole day wandering around an airport looking for it. We figured we got more time to kill the next time, so we'll just go ahead and do it then. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and head downtown to Chinatown where our hotel's at. It's supposed to be like this really cool pot hotel, something that you can't really find in the United States, something that we've personally never seen before. We've seen a couple other YouTube videos of other people staying at one, which is where we kinda got the idea and the motivation and wanna go do it. So, let's go see if we can find some transportation and head downtown. All right, so we started off in Terminal 4, and now we're over in Terminal 2. We had to take a bus to get over from there over to Terminal 2. So from here, it looks like we just grabbed the MRT and we can head straight down to Chinatown from here. <laughs> I love the animations. Here's where we get our tickets for the MRT. So it looks like they have different options. If you want to get a tourist pass, then you can get it for like one day, two days, or three days, and they have different prices for each one. Then it looks like you gotta pay a $10 rental deposit. Right, so we went ahead and got the tourist pass, and we figured that this is just the easiest way to get around, and then we get a $10 refund back for each card, so we get 20 Singaporean dollars back after we're done. So right now we just got off at the expo station and what we're doing is we're waiting for the next train that's going to be heading downtown. I guess there's a lot of different trains that go many different directions here so we're going to wait for the one that's supposedly I guess like a blue line that takes you downtown. Let's just hope we get on the right one because with our luck we'll probably end up back in Malaysia on another train. <laughs> taking the same train three different times because Evelyn decided to tell me which train to get on which was the wrong train and took us so far away from where we need to go. So now we're heading back to where we started to get on the right train. Wow we were nowhere near where we were supposed to be. Now we're heading like completely underground and yeah, we were completely lost. I mean, everything is color-coded with different colors and everything, but upstairs they all said downtown line, so we assumed that that meant downtown line as well. And it was going like east-west, above ground, and I guess this one's subterranean. I don't know, but whatever, we're on our way now. So just in case anybody that comes here for the first time, follow the colors, go by the colors. If you're going downtown, you wanna take the blue line. If you're gonna head like east-west downtown, it's green line. I mean, it's all a little confusing at first, but it all makes sense after you've gotten lost a couple times. So this is the one that we needed to actually get on. Ya hubiésemos estado llegando, si no nos hubiésemos perdido. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. We finally made it to Chinatown and right now what we're going to do is go see if we can find our hostel for the night. So this seems to be the area that we're going to be staying in over here on Mosque Street. And here it is where we are staying for the night. Now we're just here for one night, but we thought we'd give it a try because we've never stayed in one of these pod things before, but it should be kind of a cool experience. <laughs> Think of the pod place. Es un lugar super extraño, super raro. Nunca antes me había quedado en un hotel o hostal como este. Quiero ver cómo me va a ir en la noche, cómo voy a dormir, si duermo bien o no. Can you tell the people about the different features that the pod has? Este botón es para la luz. Este es para el espejo. Este es para el aire. Uh-huh. 
Siguro ang pahog na sa iyo. Y también hay una mesita. Una mesa. Detrás de esta pared hay una mesa. Oh, I didn't even see that feature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so Evelyn's explored this thing more than I have. Bueno, ¿qué les parece? ¿Les gusta? ¿O ya se han quedado antes? Cuéntenos aquí abajo en los comentarios. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and check out the bathroom while Evelyn's going to go ahead and get ready to go out tonight because we want to go make sure we're watching the game tonight and we don't want to miss a minute of it. So let's go ahead and check out the bathroom. Right, so the bathroom is just basically this curtain right here. You just unfold it. All right, so when you walk in, I mean, you basically have this giant locker room type setup. And then if you actually look over here, you have all the lockers and our card that we used to open the door also opens up our locker. And in fact, this particular one is ours. And you can basically keep your backpack in there. I mean, it's not like you're going to be able to fit a suitcase or anything like that, but I don't think people are going to stay here more than probably couple nights. So then when you come over here you can see they have their private bathroom and then you have another bathroom back here but I can't find the light for this one. I tried looking for it. I mean that's the heater switch but anyway you have the bathrooms over here and this one's got a shower built into it and then there's actually a toilet around that side and then you got another one over here. Now if you guys do decide to come out and check out one of these pod things try to make sure you get the top one for two reasons. Number one you want to make sure that the person that's going to be staying on the top isn't the one that's going to be making all the noise because you know people rolling around and just making a bunch of racket, you don't want to hear all that. And then number two, you want to be able to put your shoes on the outside of your pod. So you know what? I found a great place to put them. Perfect. All right, guys. So now that Evelyn's looking for the directions of where we need to go next, we're gonna go ahead and go exchange our ringgits to Singaporean dollars. We found a really good exchange rate at a place. I forgot the name of it to be honest, like Ciro Hidden, something like that exchange. It's over here in Chinatown. It's pretty close to where we're staying, so we figured we go over there and change our money. Believe it or not, the exchange rate at the airport wasn't as bad as I was expecting. We ended up changing about 200 ringgits, and it came out to about 65 Singaporean dollars. I think that's about the same as what we're gonna get at the other place, but oh well. You know, at least we're gonna get our money changed anyway. From there, we're gonna head to Clark Key and see if we can find the Malaysia game on TV. So, let's go. So, of course, as luck would have it, we left the money at the hostel. And on top of that, it's pouring down rain right now. So our entire plan completely got washed out, no pun intended. So we're gonna go ahead out and check out one of these bars right next to the hotel because we thought maybe they might have the game on there. At least it seems like they would have the game. So we're gonna go see if they at least have the game because right now the game already started. It's about 10 minutes into it and I don't know what's happening and it's killing me to find out. So, let's go. So we tried going to the bar and it didn't work out either. They wouldn't put the game on and they said they were gonna show an EPL game. So we're like, you know what? Let's just go back to the hotel room and watch it there because you know what? I don't wanna miss any more than I've already missed. So. We'll pick it up from there. Well, we're back in the pod, and unfortunately, like I said, it was pouring outside. I mean, I'm still wet from the rain. So as luck would have it, I was able to find it on Facebook. Looks like that's the next best thing. Well, it's not exactly an Nescafe, but you know what? At least we got something. We got a little bit of coffee. We got some, like, crackers. Like, I don't know what they are, like, fruit crackers. <laughs> Making the best of a bad situation. So, Evelyn, what do you think the scoreline's gonna be? Malaysia 3, Vietnam 1. Really? Even though Malaysia is away. Man, Evelyn's given Malaysia a lot of hope for this one. You know what? I'm going to be a little bit tougher. I'm going to go with 1-0. I think Malaysia's still going to pull out the win, but I think it's going to be a hard-fought 1-0 victory. A few moments later. Oh, man. So Malaysia just got scored on. This, this is not good, guys. Come on. I don't know what happened to our left back, but he was definitely not in his position. Got to do something a little bit better than that. All right, so all we can do now, guys, is hope for the best and hope that they get at least two back. That's asking a lot away from home, but you know what? Vietnam could do it. Why can't Malaysia? Oh, 10th minute. They just had a nice chance on goal with the back heel. Oh, so close, guys. But you know what? That's created an opportunity. We just need a little bit more luck like that and maybe we want to go in. Oh, so close. Oh, man, this isn't looking good. Vietnam is tearing through the defense like it's nothing. We got to get a little tighter on these guys. This is ridiculous. All right, 16th minute, and we got a free kick just outside the box. Last game, Malaysia was really strong in the air, so let's see if we can pull another one out of the air. Oh. No, no luck this time. Well, at least Vietnam is starting to get some yellow cards. Maybe that's going to play into our hands. Hopefully, somebody will get a red card, and they'll give us another man advantage. But right now, I don't know. I'm not seeing a lot of good stuff coming. So Malaysia's got another free kick here in the 25th minute. we got to get something out of these. I mean, we're getting so many chances. Oh, man, it was too low to the ground. What are you doing? Oh, all right, so we're going into halftime at 1-0. The offense isn't doing too bad. I mean, they're getting a lot of opportunities to try and put it in the box and see what they can do to convert them, but nothing's going in. Their goalie had a couple good opportunities, but they still need to 
do a little bit more if they're going to really put one in the back of the net. Our defense really needs to step it up a little bit too. I mean, God, that gold. How could they let that goal in? I don't know. All right, well, let's see what happens in the next half. I'm looking here at the key stats of the game, and right now Malaysia had 56% ball possession. But I think the thing that really stands out to me is that there's been seven yellow cards in this first half alone. I don't know what's going on in this referee's mind, but this is a championship final between two good sides. There's absolutely no reason why he can't let the game play out a little bit more than it already has. But again, hopefully some of that plays into our hands and Malaysia gets to play with 11 men while Vietnam lose one or two. <laughs> high hopes I guess but you know we'll see what happens all right looks like we're about to kick off for the second half let's see if Malaysia can pull out two goals oh, 49th minute and they almost had a header in guys oh it was so close they should have put that one in so it seems like our best opportunities are coming from set pieces Vietnam just got another yellow car on them and they're just right outside the box with a free kick from Malaysia so let's see if they can convert that one I feel like I just keep repeating the same sentences over and over but it seems to be the only thing that seems to be working here we go oh straight at the goalie Alright, game over guys. Looks like Vietnam took the trophy. You know what, Malaysia played their heart out. They really did. I mean, throughout this whole tournament, they played really well. I mean, there was a few opportunities where they should have scored some more goals, but at the same time, I'm really proud of the way the team played. And honestly, you know, it didn't work out this time, but that doesn't mean that they don't have a place where they could start building now and getting even better for the next one. We're going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I know it's kind of ending on a sour note, but got to go ahead and get ready for bed and start getting ready for the next day. <sighs> Sorry guys, it didn't work out this year, but next time we'll come back strong. I'll see you guys in the next video.